Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the leveling leg in a Bosch dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For the job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a 5 8 open inlet wrench, a 5 16 inch nut driver, and a wooden block. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new leveling leg. There are two front leveling legs that are screwed into the base of the dishwasher. They are used, as you can guess, for leveling the dishwasher. The main reason why the front leveling leg would need to be replaced is if it's stripped or cracked, broken. To get to the leveling leg, we need to pull the dishwasher out. Open the door and using the Phillips screwdriver, take out the two screws that hold the dishwasher to the countertop. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve, just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open-ended wrench, take off the water line. Then, using the 5 16 inch nut driver, loosen up the hose clamp and remove the drain hose from the air gap. Be careful, there is still some water inside the hose. Use the container or the towel. Pull the dishwasher out and tilt it back. Place a wooden block under the base. Using the Phillips, in our case, screwdriver, take the two screws on the sides of the kick panel out and remove the panel. To remove the old leveling leg, simply unscrew it turning counterclockwise. If the leg is jammed, use a large pliers. This is the old leveling leg next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. Screw in the new leveling leg. Make sure both legs are at the same level. Install the kick panel and secure to the two Phillips screws. Remove the support block, put the dishwasher down, and slide it under the counter. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve, then tighten it using 5 8 open ended wrench, and then we can take out the towel and the container. Connect the drain hose to the air gap and tighten the clamp with the 5 16 inch nut driver. Using the Phillips screwdriver, secure the dishwasher to the countertop with the two screws and close the door. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in, and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully, there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please Check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.